May we all stand? Uh, you may sit down, thank you. On behalf of the de Klerk family, I would like to welcome you all to this, to this celebration of Mr. F. W. de Klerk's life. A statesman, a president, and a deputy president of South Africa, Nobel Peace Prize laureate, a husband and soulmate of Elita, father of Jan and Susan, grandfather and friend. A warm word of welcome to President Ramaphosa. We still need healing and reconciliation in our beloved country. Today, Mr. President, you send out a strong signal that we need to continue on that path. I would also like to welcome all the other dignitaries present here this morning. It is a sad day for all of us. But when we look back on F.W. Clark's remarkable life, we can actually rejoice in the fact that through his actions, he left not only all of us better human beings, but also left South Africa in a far better position, warts and all, as he used to say. All of us can tell a story about F.W. Clark. What stands out for me was the day when Mr. Mandela was inaugurated as President of South Africa. Do you remember, Mr. de Klerk? It's really hard for me to talk to you in the past tense. On that day, I arrived early at your residence to go through the day's program. We had a cup of tea together. You were still in your pajamas. On a personal level, I was feeling sad because it was an end of an era. You told me not to be. You told me, today is the highlight of your career. Today is the culmination of all the hard work to reach a workable solution for our country. After so many years of blood, sweat and tears, you said that today you and your team are handing South Africa over not to a political party, not even an individual, but to all the people of South Africa because the people of South Africa have spoken. No audience, no TV cameras, just us. Words spoken from your heart. And then you gave me that unique smile of yours that reached, that reached your eyes. 25 years later, and this is still true, the will of the people remains the cornerstone of our democracy. And now I would like you to please stand. Friedrich Willem de Klerk was born in Johannesburg on 18 March 1936, the son of Senator Jan de Klerk, a senior cabinet minister. His school years were spent mainly in Krugersdorp, where he matriculated at Monument High School. He attended the Potsdam University of, for Christian Higher Education and graduated in 1958 with a BA and a LLB degrees cum laude. During his university years, he was actively involved in student affairs. After finishing his studies, Mr. de Klerk joined a firm of attorneys in Vereniging that he helped to develop into one of the leading law firms outside South Africa's major metropolitan areas. At the same time, he played a prominent role in numerous community activities. In 1972, he was offered the Chief of Administrative Law at Potsdam University. 
but had to decline because of his decision to enter active politics. In November 1972, he was elected as Member of Parliament for Vereniging. In 1978, and shortly after his 42nd birthday, after only five and a half years as a backbencher, he was appointed to the Cabinet. During the following 11 years, he was responsible for the following portfolios consecutively. Post and telecommunications and social welfare and pensions. Sport and recreation. Mining and, and environmental planning. Mineral and energy affairs. Internal affairs as well as the public service and national education. The portfolio that he held when he was elected state president. On July, the 1st of July, 1985, Mr. de Klerk became chairman of the Minister of Council, Minister's Council in the House of Assembly. He became leader of the House of Assembly on the 1st of December, 1986. On the 6th of March, 1982, he was elected to the key post of leader of the National Party in the Transvaal. On 2 February 1989, the caucus of the National Party chose him as, as the, uh, uh, the national leader of the party. On 15 August 1989, after the resignation of P President P.W. Boota, Mr. de Klerk became acting state president and after the general election of 6 September, was inaugurated as state president on 20 September 1989. Mr. de Klerk served as state president until President Nelson Mandela's inauguration on the 10th of May 1994. During this period, he initiated and co-managed the inclusive negotiations that led to the dismantling of apartheid and the adoption of South Africa's first fully democratic constitution in December 1993. After leading the National Party to the second place in South Africa's first fully representative general election on 27 April 1994, Mr. de Klerk was inaugurated as one of South Africa's two executive deputy presidents. Together with Mr. Thabo Mbeki, he served in this capacity until the end of June 1996, when his party, under his leadership, withdrew from the government of national unity. He was leader of the official opposition until he retired from active party politics on 9 September 1997. Mr. de Klerk has received numerous national and international honors and honorary doctorates. He was awarded the South African Decoration for Meritorious Service in 1981 and the Order of Mapungube in 2002. In 1992, he received the Prix de Courage International, the Prize for political, uh, political Courage, and was co-recipient of the UNESCO Ufet Bonnyi Prize. He was also awarded the Prince of Astorius Prize in Spain during the same year. In July 1993, Together with Mr. Nelson Mandela, Mr. de Klerk received the Philadelphia Peace Prize and on 10 December the same year was the co-recipient also with Mr. Nelson Mandela of the Nobel Peace Prize. In January 1999, Mr. de Klerk published his autobiography, The Last Trek, A New Beginning, and the same year established the F.W. de Klerk Foundation which is dedicated to upholding the South African Constitution, promotion of peace in multi-communal societies, the, pre uh, the preservation of F.W. Clark's presidential heritage, and the commemoration of South Africa's constitutional transformation from apartheid to a non-racial constitutional democracy. In 2004, Mr. de Klerk brought together a number of respected former national leaders to join him as founding members of the GLF, the Global Leadership Foundation, a non 
non-profit organization that discreetly assists national leaders who are experiencing transitional challenges. He was also the honorary chairman of the Prague Society for International Cooperation in the Czech Republic, a member of the Assembly of the Parliament of Cultures in Istanbul, and was involved with Forum 2000, a think tank initiated by former President Vaclav Havel and Nobel laureate Ili Wiesel. In addition, he served as an honorary member of the Perez Center for Peace International Board of Governors and on the advisory board of the Global Panel in Germany. During his retirement, Mr. Leclerc made numerous speeches around the world and actively participated as an elder and respected statesman in international conferences. He was a leading participant in annual world summits of Nobel Peace Laureates. In 2021, F.W. de Klerk was diagnosed with mesothelioma, a cancer that attacks the lining of the lungs. After a courageous battle against the, the disease, he passed away on 11 November 2021. Up until the time of his death, he lived in Freshnay, Cape Town. He enjoyed reading, the outdoor life, and golf, as well as spending time with his family. F.W. de Klerk was survived by his beloved wife, Elita, by his son, Jan, his daughter, Susan, and by his grandchildren. Lastly, I just need to read to you the awards received by, by this remarkable man during his life on earth. 1981, South African decoration for meritorious service. 1989, Newsmaker of the, of the Year, Johannesburg Press Club. 1989, Newsmaker of the, of the Year, Pretoria Press Club. 1990, Newsmaker of the, of the Year, Pretoria Press Club. 1991, Man of the Year, Inst Institute of Management Consultants. 1991, Marketing Man of the Year, Fedasa. 1991, Ufet Bonnier Prize for Peace, UNESCO. 1992, the Prix de Carriage Political International, France. 1992, Prince of Ost Ostorius Prize, Spain. 1993, Philadelphia Liberty Medal. 1993, Nobel Peace Prize. 1994, co-recipient with President Nelson Mandela as Newsmaker of the Year, Johannesburg Press Club. 2002, Order of Mapungubwe Gold. Lastly, his academic awards. 1990, Honorary Doctorate in Philosophy, DFIL, University of Stellenbosch. 1990, Honorary Doctor in Law, LLD, University of Potsdam. 1991, Honorary Doctorate in Law, Bar Ilan, University, Tel Aviv, Israel. 1991, Honorary Doctorate in Philosophy, National Shenzhen University, Taipei, Taiwan, Province of China. 1994, Honorary Doctorate, Freie Universiteit, Brussels, Belgium. 1994, Honorary Fellowship Award of the College of Medicine in, uh, of South Africa. 1995, Honorary Doctorate, LLD, University of South Africa. 1995, Honorary Doctorate, LLD, University of Zululand. 2007, Honorary Doctorate of Laws, Honoris Causa, Salisbury University, United States of America. And then, 2014, Honorary Doctorate in Philosophy, University of Haifa, Israel. I, th I thank you.
Thank you very much, Mr. Noel Basson. Now we shall give five minutes to to our plagiator Hila, the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra, to give us a piece. Over to you. You've got only five minutes to do that.